string players, welcome to Practice Blitz. In this Blitz, I'm going to show you some tricks of the trade for practicing fast passages. I'm going to start, though, with my usual disclaimer. Not all of these ways of working on facility will help you, but hopefully some of them will. This Practice Blitz is part one of playing fast. Part two is dedicated entirely to practicing in rhythms, which is a whole chapter in and of itself. So make sure to check out part two as well. Today, I won't be going over learning a passage slowly. I think you know that you have to do that first, and you have to do it well before you can deal with speed. You need to know the layout of a passage, play it in tune, and be well set up physically in a slow tempo. Make sure that you're relaxed when you're practicing slowly, because relaxation will really be key when speed enters into the equation. Practicing slowly is essential. But just practicing slowly and then increasing speed gradually is not going to get you where you want to be in the end. In order to play fast, you really do have to practice fast. Because many things in fast tempos feel completely different than in a slow one. When working on facility, you'll want to work in small batches, concentrating on particular aspects of playing fast. Before we start, I want to remind you to always, always, always aim for your best sound. Use a performance sound in the practice room. Don't wait for the stage. And I want to point out that practicing fast, like practicing anything, is a process of discovery, of finding out what is working and what is not working. Practicing for speed does not mean repeating things over and over again. Use your ears. They're your most powerful tool. 80% of your work in the practice room comes down to keen listening. OK, let's get started. To demonstrate different ways of practicing, I've chosen four small excerpts from the first movement of Lalo's Symphony Espanol. I like to think of playing fast as having to drive through tight little streets in an old city center. Spend some time practicing your navigational plan by doing what I call outline practice. Let's take this tricky measure towards the beginning of the Lalo, which involves shifting within a fast tempo. To get you thinking in groups of notes rather than individual notes, practice your main beats first. When you do this, make sure you shift quickly, just like you would have to do it in real time, even though you're playing slow. It's going to sound like this. I don't know if you noticed, but I used my shifting fingers to get there, because that, that's how it is in real life. Let's hear that one more time. Let's do eighth notes. Let's fill in some every, every other note, basically. So I'm practicing just the back of that because I wasn't happy with that. Let's try that one more time. Whoops. From there, you can fill in other notes. Basically, you can start to play all the notes, but I would still stop in between because you're really working on layout, creating groups in your mind. You see how I did a little bit of practice at the top? That's where I needed it. So you can do outline practice with any fast passage, whether you're shifting in it or not. It's great. It gives you a roadmap for your groups, and then you just fill in the notes within the groups. It's good for mental organization to feel like things are easier, and it also just helps you physically organize yourself. That's outline practice. <laughs> 